everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarisha, and today we're going to be doing a Vin Yin practice. For the first part of our practice, we'll do a little more movement, more on the vinyasa style. And for the second part of our practice, we'll do more slow grounding movements, more on the yin style. All you'll need is your mat, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll start off in a comfortable seated position, whatever that looks like for you. And you can just shift your weight here from side to side so that you can feel your sit bones rooting down into the ground. Close your eyes down or just shift your gaze downward. And we'll start by taking a deep inhale through the nose and exhaling it out through the mouth. Two more times like that, inhaling through your nose and exhaling it out through your mouth. Last round with your breath, just letting go of whatever came before this moment, coming into the present moment here. Noticing where your shoulders are in space and maybe sitting back into yourself, stacking shoulders over hips. And taking this time to set an intention for your practice today. To stay fully present here on your mat with the sensations in your body and the experience that you're having. If your mind starts to shift and wander, just bring it back to the space, back to your breath. And we'll seal this intention by bringing both hands together in front of the heart center, taking a deep inhale through the nose one more time, and exhaling it out to let it go. And when you're ready, you can slowly blink open your eyes, lift your gaze, and on an inhale, we'll sweep the hands up toward the ceiling. Exhale, cactus the arms here, bend at the elbows, open up across your chest. Inhale, sweep your hands back up toward the ceiling. Exhale, we're going to turn this into a twist. So left hand to your right knee and right hand behind you. Using the right hand to grow tall, lengthen up through your spine. And as you exhale, twist towards your right. Looking for something to soften here. Maybe you notice where your shoulders are in space and release them away from your ears. You might draw circles here with your nose in one direction and then the other. And then on an inhale, we'll unwind, reach both hands up toward the ceiling. And exhale, take it over to the other side, right hand to your left knee, left hand behind you. Using your left fingertips as a kickstand, find a length as you inhale, using your exhales to twist towards the left. And noticing if you're pushing your body to take a certain shape here. And ask yourself what you can soften into. Drawing circles here with your nose in one direction again and then the other. And on an inhale, we'll unwind, reach both hands back up toward the ceiling. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. And we'll find hands and knees. So wrists are gonna come underneath your shoulders, knees will come underneath your hips. Really press into the four corners of your palms, your knuckle pads, your fingertips. And notice if you're locking out your elbow joints, bringing a gentle bend into your elbows. On an inhale, shift your gaze up, shift your tail up. As you exhale, round through your spine, shift your gaze towards your navel. Inhale to send your gaze and tail up. Exhale to round through your spine, shifting your gaze towards your navel. We'll do two more rounds like this, inhaling to shift the gaze up. Exhaling to round in. Last round. And then we'll meet back in that neutral spine. So from here, we're going to send the right foot back behind you, flexing your right toes towards your shin. Notice if the right hip is dialing up and think about dialing it down in line with your left, imagining a glass of water balancing on your low back. You can choose to stay here or for more, reach the left hand towards the top edge of your mat. Thumbs up like you're going to shake someone's hand. Zip up through your midline, send your spine towards the ceiling, and as you exhale, round in, elbow and knee touch. Inhale, reach and stretch it out, move slowly. Exhale, round in, elbow and knee come together. Last time, inhale, reach and stretch it out. Exhale, round and draw it in. 
Inhale, reach and stretch. Exhale, bring everything down to the mat and we'll find a child's pose for a quick second. So if you'd like to stretch more into your low back, you can bring your knees a little bit closer together. If you'd like to stretch more into your hips, you can keep your toes together, bring your knees apart, and that can also give your torso a little more breathing room here. You might roll your forehead from side to side, releasing any tension in the eyebrows. And then on an inhale, we'll come back to hands and knees, taking your time with the transition. Finding that alignment, wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. This time we're gonna send the left leg back behind you. Flex your toes towards your shin. Imagine that glass of water balancing on your low back. And you can choose to stay here or send the right hand towards the top edge of your mat. Notice if your stomach is start starting to dip down towards the mat and really think about drawing and sending your spine up toward the ceiling. As you exhale, round in, knee and elbow touch. Inhale, reach and stretch it out. Exhale, round and draw in. Inhale, reach and stretch. Exhale, round and draw in. Inhale, reach and stretch. Exhale, bring everything down to the mat. Tuck your toes and send your hips up and back, finding your downward facing dog. So this might be your first downward facing dog of the day. So find some movement here. You might nod the head yes, you might shake the head no, pedaling it out, bending one knee and then the other. Noticing how your back body feels, how the backs of your legs feel. And then we'll find one round of breath here in stillness. On an inhale, come onto your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, shift your gaze forward, and walk your feet up to meet your hands at the top of your mat. We're going to hang out here in our forward fold, forward fold for a second. So you might separate your feet a little bit further apart. You can grab opposite elbows. Let your head be heavy, crown of your head towards the ground. Maybe you sway here from side to side. Letting the weight of your upper body lengthen and stretch your back body. Take an inhale here. Full exhale here. And we'll slowly release the hands down to the mat. Heel toe the feet a little bit closer together. And on an inhale, we'll lift up halfway, hands summer on your legs. So long line of energy here from the tail to the crown. Exhale, fold it forward. We're gonna slowly roll up to stand, stacking one vertebrae at a time. Let your head and arms be heavy. Your head will be the very last thing to come up. And if you're feeling lightheaded, just tuck your chin in at the top. And take a moment to feel your feet rooting down into the mat. On an inhale, roll your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, release them down by your sides. Inhale, sweep your hands up toward the ceiling. Exhale, cactus your arms here, bend at the elbows. Inhale, reach both hands back up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, lift up halfway, long spine. Exhale to fold. Press down into your feet. Inhale, rise up. Sweep your hands all the way up toward the ceiling. Exhale, cactus the arms here, bend at the elbows. Nice. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, lift up halfway, long spine. Exhale to fold. Plant your hands and step back to your plank pose, top of a push-up. Take an inhale here and exhale to lower all the way down to the mat, dropping your knees down if that helps. Press into the tops of your feet and bring your hands to frame your chest. As you inhale, lift your chest up off the mat, finding your cobra pose, working your shoulder blades together on your mat. Exhale, lower down. One more time like that. Inhale, pressing up, finding your cobra pose. Good, exhale, lowering down. Inhale, press up through hands and knees. Tuck your toes, send your hips up and back, finding your downward facing dog. Full deep inhale here. Full deep exhale here. Coming back to your intention, noting, noticing the sensations in the body. And we'll do that sun salutation A one more time. So on an inhale, come onto your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, shift your gaze forward, and walk your feet up to meet your hands, finding your forward fold. 
Inhale to lift up halfway, long spine. Exhale to fold. Root down into your feet. Inhale, rise up. Sweep your hands all the way up toward the ceiling. Exhale, fold it forward, diving back down. Take your time. Inhale, lift up halfway, long spine. Exhale to fold. Plant your hands, step back to your plank pose, top of a push-up. Inhale here. Exhale to lower all the way down. Untuck the toes to the tops of the feet, press down into the mat. Inhale, lift up cobra pose, shoulder blades together on your back. Exhale to lower. Inhale, press up through hands and knees. Tuck your toes and send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Notice the heat building in your body. Notice the sensations. Pressing into your palms on an inhale, sweep your right leg up toward the ceiling. Flex your toes towards your shins, and if you feel called to, you can bend your knee and make tiny circles, drawing, drawing circles here with your knee, opening up through the hip. And then we'll straighten that right leg square off the hips. And as you exhale, draw your knee in towards your nose and step your foot up in between your hands. We'll drop the back knee down. Left hand will stay down. Inhale, sweep your right hand up toward the ceiling, finding the twist. Work your left shoulder away from your ear. Press down into whatever is making contact with the mat. As you exhale, bring your right hand down to plant. Root down into your feet, and on an inhale, start to rise up, finding your low lunge. Maybe you pause, hands at your thigh, and when you're ready, you can send your hands up toward the ceiling. Soften your shoulders down away from your ears, and you might take up more space here, heel-toeing your uh, right toes towards the top edge of your mat so you can send your hips forward. If you're doing that, think about drawing your navel in to protect your low back. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands down on the inside of your right foot and heel toe your right foot to the, towards the right edge of your mat, finding your lizard pose. So option to stay up on your hands. If you're feeling open in your hips, you can come down to your forearms. That is not in my practice today. That's okay, every time we come to our mat, our practice is different. Take one inhale here. Full exhale here. If you're on your forearms, slowly press back up to your palms. Tuck your back toes to lift your knee off the mat. And then we're gonna send that right leg up and back into our three-legged downward facing dog. And then bring that right foot down to meet your left. Finding downward facing dog one more time. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale it out through your mouth. On an inhale, sweep that left leg up and back behind you. Uh, oh, here, bend your, bend your knee, stack your hips, and maybe draw circles with that right, with that left knee. And then we'll straighten that left leg square off the hip. And as you exhale, draw your knee in towards your nose and step your left foot up in between your hand, finding your low lunge. We'll bring that back knee down. Right hand stays down. Inhale, sweep your left hand up toward the ceiling. Working your right shoulder away from your ear, really press into whatever is making contact with the ground. As you exhale, bring that left hand down to plant, and we're going to root to rise. So rooting into your foundation, start to come up, finding your low lunge. Maybe you pause, and when you're ready, send your hands up toward the ceiling. If you'd like to take up more space here, heel toe your left toes towards the top edge of your mat, and send your hips towards the top edge of your mat, finding that subtle core engagement. What can you soften here? Maybe it's your jaw. Maybe it's your eyebrows. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands down on the inside of your left foot and heel to your left toes towards the left edge of your mat, finding your lizard pose on this side. Take an inhale here. Full exhale here. Finding a moment to pause and think, think your hips for being as open as they are right now in this moment. Press into your palms, tuck your back toes to lift your knee off the mat and send the left foot high, finding your three-legged dog. Bring your left foot down to meet your right, finding your downward facing dog. Inhale to come onto your toes. Exhale to bend your knees, shift your gaze forward, and walk your feet up to meet your hands, finding your forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, long spine. 
exhale to fold. Preparing for your chair pose. So two options here, you can bring your big toes together, slight gap between your heels, or feet can be hips width distance apart, which is two fists between the feet. Bend your knees so that your torso is resting on the tops of your thighs, and as you inhale, lift your torso up. Exhale, stay for your seat in your chair. Now, if you've got shoulder tension, you can feel free to cactus the arms here, or bring your hands together in front of your heart center. Sink a little bit lower and think about sending your seat back behind you. Send your breath to your thighs, your quads. Maybe pick up your toes and wiggle them a little bit and set them down. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, fold it forward, let that go. And you can pedal it out here, bending one knee and then the other. Nod the head yes, shake the head no. Last little bit of movement here before we slow it down more. So inhale, lift up halfway long spine. Exhale to fold. Step your right toes to the back of your mat, finding your low lunge. Always an option to drop that right knee or to keep it lifted. Root down into your feet. We're gonna start to rise up, high lunge. Maybe you pause, hands at your thigh, and then send your hands up toward the ceiling. Soften through your shoulders. Feel the length in your spine. Power in that back leg, shining it up toward the ceiling. Take an inhale here. Exhale, spin it out, warrior two. So front heel and back arch are in one long line. Your back toes are pointing at a 45 degree angle towards that long edge of your mat. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Soft gaze over the left middle finger. Flip your front palm up. Exhale, reverse warrior, tipping it back. Right hand to the back of your right thigh. Keep that front knee bent. Breathe into your left side body. Inhale, come back to your warrior two. As you exhale, windmill your hands down to frame your front foot, spinning onto the back toes. And we're gonna walk the hands around to the long edge of your mat so that all 10 toes are pointing towards, yeah, towards the long edge of your mat, beautiful. Hands underneath your shoulders, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, bowing the head towards the ground. Option to keep your hands underneath your shoulders, or maybe bring your fingertips in line with your toes, or maybe send your fingertips towards the far edge of your mat so that your wrists are pointing the same direction as your face. Imagine something no longer serving you rolling off your spine down into the earth below you. Slowly bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. Inhale to lift up halfway long spine. Exhale to fold. Walk your hands back around to that low lunge. And we're gonna step the right foot up to meet the left. Inhale to lift up halfway long spine. Exhale to fold. Step your left toes to the back of your space, finding your low lunge. Always an option to drop that back knee but when you're ready, press into your feet and start to rise up. Maybe you pause, hands at your thigh, and then when you're ready, send your hands up toward the ceiling. Soften down through your shoulders. Think about that back leg being really strong and powerful, reaching up toward the ceiling. Draw your navel in. Take an inhale here. Exhale, spin it out, warrior two. So front heel and back arch are in one long line. and then soft gaze over the right middle finger. Press into the pinky toe side of your back foot. Flip your front palm up, exhale, reverse warrior, tipping it back, left hand to the back of your left thigh or maybe wrapping it around your low back for a bind. Keep that front knee bent. Inhale, come back to your warrior two. Exhale, windmill your hands down to frame your front foot again and we'll find that wide-legged forward fold one more time. So we'll turn this into a twist. Your left hand will stay down. Inhale, sweep your right hand up, turning towards the right. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bring that right hand down to the mat. Right hand stays down. Inhale, sweep left hand up toward the ceiling, taking the twist on the left side. Long spine here. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bring your left hand down to the mat. We'll walk back around to that low lunge, facing the top edge of your mat. 
and then we'll step the right foot back to meet the left, finding your plank pose, moving through one last vinyasa here during our vin part of our practice. Inhaling to come up for your cobra pose, exhaling to make your way back to your downward facing dog. Two rounds of breath here in your downward facing dog. Last one. Good, we'll slowly lower the knees down and find a child's pose. Bringing your forehead down towards the mat. And you might move your head here from side to side again. Noticing the sensations in your body. Feeling your heartbeat in your chest. Noticing if your mind has shifted and wandered. Gently bringing it back to the sensations in your body. The temperature in the room. And on an inhale, we'll walk the fingertips over towards the right side of your mat. Maybe they come off the right edge of your mat. Sending your seat heavy here, but getting into the left side body in a side stretch. Breathe here. Soften through your shoulders. We'll come back through center and take it over to the other side, walking the hands over towards the left, maybe coming off the mat. Stretching into the right side body. Imagining you're breathing into the spaces between your ribs. Inhale, come back through center. Stay for your exhale. And then on an inhale, we'll way forward and we'll find a seat with both legs out long. Uh -oh. The computer went dark. Is it okay? Okay, that's fine. I'll edit that. Okay, so we'll shift our weight here from side to side so that you can feel your sit bones rooting down again. Flex your toes towards your shin. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Exhale, fold forward. So hands can stop anywhere along your legs. Maybe you bring your hands to your toes, your ankles, your shins. Softening away from that edge and allowing yourself to truly be present without a sense of struggle, with a sense of ease instead. On an inhale, start to walk your hands up. And we'll take the right sole of the foot on the inside of the left leg. Let your right leg be an anchor here. And inhale, sweep your hands up. Exhale, turn and fold over the left leg. Pausing here. Again, hands stopping anywhere you'd like. And asking yourself if your mind has drifted or wandered away. And gently bringing it back to this current experience you're having. Take one more round of breath here. And as you inhale, start to walk your hands up your legs coming upright. And we'll switch it out. So right leg long in front of you, left foot on the inside of your left of your right leg. Inhale, sweep your hands up toward the ceiling. Exhale, turn and fold over your right leg. Stopping anywhere along the right leg that feels right for you. This side might be different from the other. Knowing that that difference is normal. Meeting your body where it is right now. And drop into your breath, noticing the parts of your body that expand as you inhale and the parts of your body that soften as you exhale. Take one more round of breath here. And slowly start to come up. And we'll keep that left shin parallel to that edge of your mat. And we'll bend the right knee 
<clears throat> so their right toes are pointing out towards their right, and your right hip is really high, your right seat's really high up off the mat, and your left foot and your right knee are sort of tracking towards each other. You'll bring your hands in front of your left leg, inhale to find length, and you can explore movement here. So you can walk your hands forward and notice how that feels. Or maybe you experiment with walking your hands over towards your left knee and out to the side, getting a more diagonal stretch. So you might try both out and see which one serves you better today. And whichever um, option you pick, see if you can bring forearms down to the ground or soften to where you don't have any tension in the neck. This pose is called deer pose, and it helps to stretch not only into the hips, but also into the hip creases. <coughs> so our yin practice is slower than our vinyasa practice. We stay in poses for several rounds of breath. And oftentimes we meet discomfort or wandering thoughts all of that is normal. So just breathing into the sensations you're feeling, knowing that whatever is coming up is normal, and holding space for yourself. You might separate the back teeth here and wiggle the jaw from side to side. Take one more round of breath here. And we'll slowly start to press up onto the palms. Coming up, we'll send both legs out long. And windshield wiper the feet from side to side, maybe bump the knees. Just rinsing out whatever happened on the left side to come into the right side. So right shin will be parallel to the edge of your mat. You'll send your left toes out to the left as you bend your knee. Your left knee and your right foot are sort of tracking towards each other. Left hip is raised. And again, option to bring your hands in front of your right shin, staying upright, coming down low, or maybe going off in a diagonal shape. And this side might be different than the other. Maybe you want to do something different. It's okay to be asymmetrical, as long as you're listening to the messages that your body is telling you. And it might take you a moment to find that sense of ease in the pose. And know that there's also, with that ease, there can also be some discomfort. And you can hold space for two competing feelings, sensations, emotions at the same time. Maybe scanning the body here, start to notice the sensations you're feeling along the left leg, the left hip, the right leg, and the right hip, your spine, and your arms. Maybe closing the eyes down if you haven't already. See if you can notice your heartbeat in your chest. Two more rounds of breath here. Knowing that you can stay for as long as you need to, you can start to make your way out of the pose when you're ready. And press up onto your hands. Lifting up and then sending the legs out long. And windshield wiper the feet here, bump the knees. And then we'll bring the soles of the feet together, <coughs> knees apart. Feet can be as close in as you'd like. Grabbing hold of somewhere along your legs, inhale to find length. Exhale to lead with the heart, hinging from the hips, leaning forward. 
You can stay more upright here, or you can choose to round in more, drawing your forehead towards your feet. You might even bring the hands to the feet and giving your, your feet a little massage here, thanking your, your feet for moving you through the world, for connecting you to the earth. Take one more round of breath here. And we'll slowly start to come up. And then we'll come to lay down flat on the back. We'll bend the knees, plant the soles of the feet down onto the mat, and we'll cross the right ankle at the left knee. You can choose to stay here, or maybe start to draw your feet towards you, grabbing the back of your left thigh, coming into reclined pigeon. So looking for sensations in that outer right hip crease. If you're looking for more, you can bring your hands to the top of your left shin instead. Soften your shoulders towards the earth. Maybe press your right elbow into your right thigh to intensify that stretch on the right hip. Take an inhale here, full exhale here. And we'll slowly release that work, bringing the soles of the feet down onto the mat and allowing the knees to knock over towards the left, coming into a twist. And you might draw your knees a little bit closer in towards you, maybe leave them further away from your body. If you're looking to expand, to receive, you might Place your hands um, in a cactus shape, palms face up. If you're looking to ground in, to be a little more introspective, you can place your hands somewhere on your torso instead. Maybe close the eyes down if you haven't already. I'm taking two more rounds of breath here. Last round. We'll come back through center, bringing the soles of the feet down onto the mat. And you might press into your feet so that you can lift your hips up and reset your spine to neutral. And just pause here for a moment, noticing how the right side feels compared to the left side. Maybe both sides feel the same. Maybe there's a small difference taking a moment to pause. And then we'll cross left ankle at right knee, flex the right toes towards your shin, stay here, or start to draw your, your legs towards you, grabbing the back of your right thigh, or the top of your right shin. Finding weight in the shoulders and head and neck. Maybe you firm up your elbow to your left thigh, intensifying the sense of stretch here. Even as you do this work with your arms and legs, ask yourself if there's something that you can release, maybe your eyebrows, maybe your neck muscles. Take a deep inhale here. Full exhale here. And we'll slowly let that go, bringing the soles of the feet back down to the mat. And we'll turn this into our twist on the right side. So you'll send your knees over towards the right. And you can choose to stay here with your hands on your body if you're looking to ground in. If you're looking to expand, you can cactus the arms here, bending at the elbows, palms face up toward the ceiling. Maybe you try the opposite option of what you did with your twist on the left side. And close your eyes down or soften your gaze on a point on the ceiling that's not moving. And feeling the mat coming up to support you. 
soften into the pose. And stay present here with your breath for three rounds. Notice if your mind has drifted or wandered, bringing it back into present moments with this last round of breath. And we'll slowly unwind, bringing soles of the feet down onto the mat. Press into your feet, send your low back down to neutral. And we'll draw the knees into the chest, giving yourself a squeeze before coming into our final pose of our practice, Shavasana. So a few options here. If your low back is feeling tender, you can bend the knees, take your feet to the edges of your mat, and allow your knees to knock inward. If you'd like to stretch more into your hips, you can bring the soles of the feet together, knees apart like we did when we were seated, only now you're laying down. Option to go for a traditional Shavasana with legs out long, and if laying on your back doesn't serve you, you can always come to lay on your side or come to a seated position. Closing the eyes down or softening the gaze on one point. Scan your body for any last little bits of work that it's still doing. So even if you're taking a leg variation, letting your legs be soft, the muscles softening around the bones. If your legs are long, let your feet splay out. Feel your seat heavy and supported by the ground below you. Your spine long and heavy. The arms heavy. Shoulders melting away from each other towards the ground. Pull your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. Soften the space between your eyebrows. And rest here with the knowledge that there is nowhere else you need to be and nothing else you need to be doing. Shavasana is a chance for active rest, different from sleep and different from activity. It's you making the conscious choice to push pause. Good. Slowly start to deepen your breath. Bringing yourself back to the space, and back to your mat. If staying in stillness serves you, stay for as long as you need to. Otherwise, if you're ready to move on with the rest of your day, 
You might start to bring gentle movements back to your body, maybe wiggling fingers and toes. If your legs are in a different formation, you might stretch the legs out long, no ankles and, and wrists. Move the head from side to side. And maybe send the arms back behind you, stretching long through both hands and feet, pointing the toes. And as you exhale, draw your knees in towards your chest, giving yourself a squeeze before slowly making your way over onto one side and pausing. Noticing how you feel now as compared to the start of our practice. When you're ready, no rush at all, we'll make our way up to a comfortable seated position with the eyes closed or the gaze downward to keep the focus inward. Take a moment to arrive in your seat, coming full circle to how we started our practice. Bring your hands together in front of your heart center and bow your head. Bowing your thinking mind to your feeling heart and all of the wisdom that resides within you. The light in me honors and bows to the light in each one of you. When you're ready, you can slowly lift your gaze and blink open your eyes. Thank you so much for practicing with me.